Hey guys, what's happening? Lex back today for a special episode. What I got for you today is something that I think most all of us could use. Now, as I've told you guys plenty of times before, I'm just an average player. So here I'm in SOAW Esports, which is, you know, a really good clan. All these guys are better players than me. There's no doubt about that. <clears throat> However, the good thing about it is I get to hang around these guys. I get to watch their friendly battles. I get to hear them talk about it. Um, I get to play and usually lose. I think I've only won like two friendly battles since I've been here. Um, but, I mean, there's some really good players in here. Look, we got JES right here. He just hit, hit over 6K today, so props to JES. That's really awesome. Uh, but we're going to bring somebody in today who is going to watch me play some games, and he's going to give me some pointers that I hope that will apply to everybody, and that way, if you're looking to step up your game, maybe you can take some of these pointers and apply it to your game. So what, who are we going to bring in? We've got a wealth of options to choose from, but right down here, we've got Jaya, right? Now, he's been over 5k, um, and here's the impressive part, is that homie's a level 10. He's a level 10, and he's been over 5,000. Guys, that's pretty ridiculous. I don't, I don't care if you have overleveled cards. Um, Level 10 towers going against level 13 is no laughing matter. So we're going to bring Jai in here and he's going to help me out and hopefully in turn help you guys out with your gameplay and help maybe help you take you to the next level uh, and help you get better as well. All right. So I'd like <laughs> to welcome in Jay. Jay, how's it going, man? How are you doing today? Uh, good. So there's going to be plenty of tips that you can uh, show me because like I was telling everybody earlier is that I'm completely an average player and I'm okay with that. But, you know, I, I do try to get better. And one of the great things I think about being in a clan like this where literally everybody's better than me is that, um, you know, I can, I can, I can draw a lot from you guys' uh, you guys' gameplay and you guys' experience. So it's, it's pretty nice. So what I, what I thought we could do today since, um, you, I was showing the people earlier there, right before uh, you came on, that you know, as a level ten, you got up to five k, which is pretty impressive. I mean, what what kind of deck did you use to get up there? Um, use mortar. It's what a lot of people are using on ladder right now. Yeah, yeah, I've been seeing a lot. Of, the, the higher up I've climbed on ladder, I've been seeing it more and more often, which it, it hasn't affected me too much because, like, a, we were talking earlier that you know my my bowler is is a pretty good counter to the mortar. But even with that, sometimes, I mean, they can still cycle so quick that it's still rather annoying. Yeah, you just got to make sure you always have bowler for uh, mortar. And if they try to cycle, you got to know they're using a lot of elixir. So you can use that to your advantage. And really, if someone places mortar in one, like for all of those of you that have, like, problems with mortar, if they place, if you're playing graveyard, for example, and you have, like, no bowler to directly counter it, and they play some mortar, just do a graveyard push in the other lane with like a knight, because the mortar is still gonna lock on to the other lane. Right on. Yeah, I, every time I play mortar, as soon as I they reveal the mortar, it's like, oh, looks like I know what I'm saving my bowler for nonstop. And I would usually just push with my baby dragon or the knight with the graveyard and just save the bowler strictly for the mortar. And it's like they just uh, they really can't do much of anything. But what, what I thought we could do here is that um, I'm going to jump into some... I've already got a challenge going. I think I've already yeah, I've won one game. Um, so uh, I'm just going to hop into a challenge. I'm going to be playing a couple different decks. One, the deck that I usually play on ladder, which uh, everybody has seen that's been watching my channel. It's just a Bowler Baby Dragon Graveyard. Pretty pretty standard meta deck right now. And then I've got one other one. I don't even really know if it's that great, but I just threw it together right before the video, but it's just a, a minor battle ram, which battle ram is pretty hot right now. Minor poison battle ram, E-Wiz, Inferno Tower deck. So how about if you just watch me play and then, you know, you can chime in whenever you feel like if you see me screwing up or, you know, or you can just let me uh, flail about and then you can tell me where I screwed up and what I did right. Maybe I did, I'll do a couple things right. And, uh, you know, we can see how that goes. All right. Sounds good. Cool. Are you ready? I'll jump into one right now. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so my starting hand here, I've got Knight, Bowler, Graveyard, and E-Wiz, which, I, I, you know, I, I'm always stuck on the starting hands. I don't really know what to start off uh, with. I, I would like to drop, I, I don't like to drop Bowler because if they uh, get it, they rush me. Yeah, yeah, I would just place Knight at the back. Yeah, so you, that's, what I've, that's what I've usually been doing. I, I'll usually wait a little bit. If they don't do anything, okay, he's going to drop that. I'm going to wait for a second okay. here, see what he does to support yeah. that, and... I can drop my e in here to help out if it gets too gnarly. Yeah, no, I'm going I'll to place right now. it now. Yeah. You're good. All right, Could so I don't. I, I, yeah, and I and I don't like that. Oh, nice lightning, I guess. Um, but now he's he's right, he's, just, he's pretty well broke right here. He's got to be. I'm gonna yeah, go ahead and go with that. Right I'm gonna put a baby dragon in behind it just to splash. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but um, yeah. You should have put a bowler at the back, in my opinion, because you could have built up a much bigger push than he could have defended. 
Because okay, gotcha. you put a lot of elixir. So I should have, like, just, instead of just pushing fast right there, I should have just started at the back and started up a big push? Yeah, because you kind of want to feel out what his deck is. Sacrifice my skill. Uh, yeah, he didn't get a shot. Okay, cool. So, okay, right, so he's, he's bowler, right. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to... I'll just start bowler at the back. Yeah, I can't defend. I can't... I don't have anything to quick push on the other lane, so I'm going to have to try to defend this. Yeah, I'm... And See, uh, I would probably save your baby dragon for his graveyard because that's the best counter you have towards it. Yeah. I'm going to put my Electro Wiz back over here just to help slow this down. I do have poison, I mean, but I don't have my baby dragon right now. So I'm going to drop a poison on there. I, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to use my tornado to try to pull that golem off the tower so he doesn't pop on it. Get back. Oh, and, I, and I failed. Completely fell here, right there. Oh, yeah, that... I'll, show you, I'll show you the uh, correct tornado placement later if you want. Yeah. Man, the lightning. Okay, see, I, I do have problems with this deck, and and I shouldn't honestly with this because I have such good you know troops to splash out here. But um, okay, yeah. Uh, now I'd push if I were you because you're ahead in elixir. Okay. I'd put some troops to support that. Yeah. Hopefully, and I'm gonna give it e whiz back up here to try to kill that uh, mega minion. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take a guess here. I'm guessing right now. Yes, very well played. That was the best you could have done right there. Okay, well, he, I'm still going to have to deal with this. He's got his dragon. I'm going to place a bowler back here. Um, I've, yeah, baby dragon in the back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah, it's probably, yeah. it's probably that's game over probably right there. But um, Yeah, we can, we can just go over the replay if you want. I can tell yeah. you some mistakes. Uh, you do, do, do. Yeah, I do. Like I said, I do have problems with this deck. Um, and, and I don't know really why. I, I mean, I don't know what. I can't even really put. I'm gonna do this, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, see, I, I, mean, I don't. I don't think I should have problems with this, but I do. But I mean, it is a r relatively hard matchup. But I mean, it wasn't too good of a player. I, I, just I share the replay. Yeah. Um, let me share the. Re I'll share the replay, and we can. I'd like this uh, share. All right. Uh, okay. One, Ready. two, three. Play. All right. Oh, he. Sure. Yeah. Right here, you just kind of want to, just kind of want to wait. If he doesn't play anything, I'll just play E Wizard at or Knight at the back, which he did. So that was a good play. Because it's passive, he can't really, he can't really um, what's called punish you for playing a Knight at the back. Yeah. Plus, I mean, he's got a crap starting hand too. I'm surprised he went straight with that to begin with. So right here, I would have played E Wizard, um, like right now, right here. Yeah, that and, I, and I was leaking elixir too. So. But I was trying to let him build up. I just waited a tiny bit too long. Okay, this is one of the mistakes you had. He was down on Elixir. And uh, you should have just started Bowler at the back. Because you could have built up a really big push. Gotcha. He defended this well, though, for the situation he was put in. So I gotta give him props. Yeah, yeah, he plays Golem right here. And then Bowler at the back was a good, uh, good idea. And I lost about two elixir as well by not acting. Yeah, I mean, but it's a good idea because, like, you have tornado in hand, so you can't really stack up troops at the back. Well, if he decided to. I don't think he stacked up troops. Yeah, he, you should have played knight um, to the right of the graveyard. That's how you counter a graveyard. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, was it in my, yeah, it had to have been, I don't know if it was in my hand or if I had to cycle to the knight before I, because I dropped the poison, yeah. I think that put the knight in my hand. I mean, you're playing good up until here, but he's just like way too, like ahead in damage. And you can't really punish him too much for those lightnings. Yeah, so. my, my deck is not like a super fast, I can make a quick push. I mean, the best I can do is, you know, knight graveyard, um, but... Yeah, with those uh, tornadoes though, when you're tornadoing the uh, what's it called the golem, what you want to do is you want to place it like um, you want to place it where the edge of the tornado is like directly on the edge of the the tower, mm -hmm. and it pushes it it pushes it to your king's tower and only lets the golem get one hit, so it's like a lot of value. Gotcha. And right right here, you couldn't really do anything. I mean, he was gonna take the tower either way. Yeah, he kind of, he kind of, he really overcommitted with that golem back there, but there's you couldn't punish him for it because your, um, your graveyard was already out of hand. It was pretty much good, good game up in there. Yeah. 
Oof. I mean, he, he played pretty. He played really well at the end. Just the beginning really had you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would. Gra- go ahead. Oh, for graveyard, you want to place. If you have knight in hand, you want to place your knight uh, to the right of your tower or to the left. Like if if your tower's on the right, you want to place it to the right of it. Right. Yeah. Just to the right. And- I normally do that because that's what I usually play. If especially if they're playing like a graveyard poison, because the knight's going to be unaffected by the poison, and he does a, de- a decent jam, a damn a uh, decent uh, job because he swings so fast. But yeah, he does. And then you just want to log a little bit after, like wait for the skeletons to spawn on top of the tower. Cause that that the random skeletons that spawn on this the tower are really what get the damage to your tower, not the main body of skeletons. Right. All right. So um, let's see. So since I I did so poorly on that first one there, uh, Jaya, let's uh, let me play one more just to get some revenge here. And I'm jumping into a challenge right now. If you want to spectate me here, um, yeah. let's see. See if I can do better this time. This time I have Bowler Knight Graveyard Baby Dragon. Um, pretty heavy starting hand. So again, I'll probably start with the knight again unless he plays something okay he's gonna play that i'm gonna play some knight just to block that off uh, it's kind of glitching for me all right i'm watching now. okay so he's got a baby drag i'm not gonna do anything here uh i guess i'll play a bowler down and then i'll see um i can yeah, you... back that up with the e-wiz maybe yeah you don't want to leak that's oh he's got a tesla that's well, yeah what's tesla what who, who plays tesla um, oh, I would have played E Wizard at the bridge because it could target the Tesla over the bridge. Oh, could it? See, I, I didn't. I wouldn't have even thought that. All right, so he's got goblins. We're gonna just gonna distract them over. I'm gonna tornado that in. A tornado. Gonna, no, use tornado. my knight to yeah, block yeah. the archers. Perfect. That's exactly. All right. Um. So again, he's got the. I'm gonna. I'm. Either he played okay. when he didn't have enough elixir, or he's ahead on me. So. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> That's fine. No, no, no. Okay, so this time, if he plays the Tesla in the same spot, I will play the, the he was at the bridge. Or I could just go Baby Dragon Graveyard right here. Mm, let's let's see. No, I don't really have enough elixir for this. This would be really pushing it, but I'm going to anyways because YOLO. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, rip. Okay, well, they're, they're still stacking up. A, I, got, I got a tiny bit of damage, but, you know. Yeah. All right, so I he's going to be coming with his hog right here. Uh, I've, I've got my tornado and my e whiz, so we're going to do that. We'll tornado him there, and I'll drop my e whiz on the archers. Stop. All right. I'm totally broke now, so I can't do anything. Let's just hope that he's broke too. He's got, he had enough for baby dragon, so he's definitely up on elixir for me. Um, okay, we're going to have to stop well, that gotta, right there. Yeah, you get a lot of value out of that uh, knight, so you're that like brings you back up to him. Okay, I'll so, just slow roll right yeah, here. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let him play his, play, do his thing right there. I'm going to put a bowler in the back. Um, I, I can cycle around to a tornado if he comes in with a hog. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of because he can't really punish. Okay, I'm going to go. That, the, the baby drag's going to outpace the bowler here, but I don't really know what else to do. I don't know why he's not playing. Did he yeah. DC? He <laughs> gives up. <laughs> Knows he's going to lose. Okay, well, I'm just gonna play that there. Okay, well, I guess he, I guess he left. See the power of being too awesome. I mean, they just, they just rage quit on you. <laughs> no, I mean, he wasn't gonna win that game. Hog is a really easy matchup for this deck. So. Yeah, it's got too many counters. The hog for him to win. He wasn't yeah. gonna win that either way. No, he, he, he was. Once I got his, once I got my king's tower activated, it was, it was GG for his hog. It was never gonna touch my tower again. So. Cool. All right. Well, I, I think I did okay that match. I mean, up for what we actually played. So, <laughs> yeah. correct me if I if I screwed something up, but um, I think I did okay. Nah, you played pretty, played pretty good there, except for the the overextension on the graveyard. Yeah, and you know, and I I okay. So one of the guys in the clan, uh, Gabzip, he actually came with me from from our last clan, and I I was talking to him I'm like, dude, I know I know it, I know this, I know this play in every match that I try to tell myself to be patient, but it's like I have clash royale adhd and i just want to go 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 and that's like my biggest flaw when i play i seriously i overextend all the time well one tip if you see someone play like you did they played graveyard and he had a lot of elixir when you did that and you didn't punish you didn't play tornado or anything to counter you know he's out of elixir so what he should have done there should have capitalized on the fact that you didn't have that much elixir and the fact that you probably didn't have enough for more than one hog counter and he should have played more than just the hog. Yeah. Probably should have played like Baby Dragon, etc. But 
I mean, he, that was a misplay on his part. He probably yeah, could have he, punished him. He didn't take advantage of it. I mean, if I look at his profile, he's his season highest is 4,100. Um, so, I mean, he's not horrible. He's not a horrible. Oh, I feel bad now looking back. The guy who would just kick my butt with the golem deck, his his highest ever is 3,300. <laughs> oh, rip. <laughs> Ripped. Okay. Um, so, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to hop into a, a different match. Here. I'm going to use this uh, minor deck. Now I used to play minor quite a bit, but it was not really this style. So I, I'm a complete noob really when it comes to this. Um, so we'll, we'll see how I do, but I'm going to go ahead and hit battle right now and we'll see. All right. All right. True black Doug. All right. So I've got battle Ram skellies, uh, e Wiz and Log in my starting hand, so I'll probably just again hold on here a little bit. I might cycle the skeletons. Um, if he doesn't, okay, he, yeah. he does. He does that. Okay, so we're we're going hard other side with this right here. Yeah, that's that's a good play on your part. Okay. I'll log that right there, so he has to uh, continue. Yeah, I didn't do it quick enough, but yeah, and that's gonna kill everything right there. Okay, so that's okay. I'm gonna cycle around and get my Inferno Tower up for. That right there. Does he, he's probably gonna have balloon? Okay, no. Well, my he's gonna be distracted by my skeletons there, so that's okay. I'm gonna ignore the minions on the other side because really, what else can I do? Um, gonna I'm, gonna, to I'm gonna have to distract right here. This this mega minion. Oh, you kind of you want to play that like more towards the back so you could uh, build up the push with it. Yeah, you know that's a good point. I should have done that. Uh, I don't know. That's still gonna get a hit probably. Maybe. Please no, don't. It, oh, now it does. Oh, okay. saved it barely. Okay, so Lava Loon, I hate Lava Loon so bad. Seriously, I, I just like. Well, his his balloon isn't paired with his Lava Hound or Lava Hound anymore, so you, you can uh, you don't have to worry about balloon and Lava Hound in the same push. Okay, so I'm about up here. Okay, we're gonna go again. This time I'm gonna have my I don't have my log actually, so he's gonna play his Tombstone again. Uh, I wish I had my poison. I don't. I mean, I could. Okay, I'm just gonna have to take it again. Dang it! I should have. Had, I wish I would have had my log in hand, uh, but you know I don't. So all right, that. I would place it. I would place it to get those minions too. Yeah. 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 That was perfect. Perfectly played. Okay, so I'm gonna distract with the knight, and then I'm gonna try to. Um, I'm saving my e whiz here. I can distract again. Um, yeah. Just trying to keep him. Okay, that should be good. I think. Yeah. All right, I do have my log, and I got one hit. It is what it is. Okay, so right yeah. here, I'm, I'm going to go here, and I do have my log. So if he I'll, plays his um, yeah. tombstone again, is he? Okay, he's going to go there. I'm going to log that. Oh, that is that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, okay, so here and here, and okay, then I'm going to distract with the that right there. Okay, so that's that's okay. I, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Again, he goes right back yeah, here. Yeah, I'll push. Push the other side so you can cycle back to your Inferno and at the same time pressure him. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, and Inferno Tower right here. Oh, you got his tower. Nice. That's good. Okay, so there. 15 seconds. We're going to get just something to distract here. So I, I feel like I, I played pretty well on that. Now, I, I think I got a little bit lucky because his, his balloon and his uh, hound weren't really all in at the same time. So Yeah, there were no... There are no blatant mistakes um, that game. I would say that uh, you placing a wizard and Inferno at the same time might have been an overextension if he hadn't placed extra troops after you placed it. Gotcha. Just for his balloon. So you know. in, in general, the, the, the Inferno Tower would be able to take out all of that and you really wouldn't need to play anything yeah. else? Yeah, balloon and minions, Inferno Tower can take it out if you get it to lock onto the balloon. And, so, um, so even the Lava Hound and the Balloon, the Inferno will take it all out? Oh, no, I'm talking about without Lava Hound. I mean, just Minions and Balloon. Because okay. he placed Minions and Balloon. Um, oh. Lava Hound and an Balloon, uh, an Inferno and an E-Wizard will take that out without any help. And, gotcha. Uh, just got to watch out for Lightning. If they have Lightning, you got to make sure you pressure the other lane so they don't have enough to Lightning, too. So even but, pressure um, maybe a tiny bit more than you normally would just to help, just to make sure that they... Um, don't have the elixir to do that. Yeah, and you had a you had a good example of pressuring that game. I think that people could learn from when you didn't have Inferno in hands because you had it wasted on Bloom, which was a good play on his part. But then you pressured the other lane when he played Lava Hound, which is a good play. People don't realize this, but it cycles it cycles your deck back to Inferno, and at the same time, it's pressuring him, so he's not able to build up his optimal push 
with like you know balloon minions and lava hound all in the same push right yeah because if he gets all that built up it's 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 gg i mean it's like almost impossible to stop yeah people always ask how to beat lava hound and the th the point is you just need to make sure they don't build up their optimal push and their optimal push is lava hound balloon and supporting troops whatever they have it, that's that's just a deadly push and even the best players can't really prevent that right so you just got to make sure you pressure Right on. But, I mean, you played you played really well that game. Cool. Well, that's uh, good to hear. I don't know how I don't know how good this guy was. Um, but nevertheless, his cars were you know tournament standard. Uh, let me let me look at old. Uh, yeah, he was also forty one hundred. So I mean, he's not too far below where I am. So I'd say we're pretty well on equal footing there. But right on. Yeah. Okay. Well, is there is there any other general tips that you you'd want to shout out? Because I I'd like to have you back on another time. Maybe like if you find some cool deck that you like. Uh, we can go over that, but you know, for for now, is there any anything else general, you know, that you'd like to to give some tips to the players that are like me, you know, your average player that would help them, you know, maybe take their game to the next level? I mean, a lot of mistakes I see is just overextending, like playing graveyard when you don't have your poison and you know that they have uh, they have their counter in hand, stuff like that. Just letting people build up pushes. I, people don't. A lot of people don't understand that. I mean, you can pressure the other lane, and they, they still have to, like, respond to it so they don't have such a big push in your other lane that they're trying to push into. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, that's pretty much the only big mistakes I normally see from players. Yeah, I mean, they're... I, I find myself that... It's like in my head, I know a lot of these things that's, you know, like, yeah, I'm supposed to do this then and, and I'm supposed to do that if this happens. And then in the moment, I just like completely spaz out and I do the absolutely wrong thing. So, I mean, I don't know if that just comes with some repetition and playing more. And I, I mean, I don't play a ton, uh, so I, I'm not sure, but. Yeah, def definitely not a bad player, though. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, but. All right, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on, and I uh, look forward to doing this again in the future. And everybody, you, you actually, I know you just uh, got your Twitter account there, so because I, I followed you. So if you guys haven't followed uh, Jay here, be sure to check his Twitter out. I'll post it down in the description below. And I, I appreciate you coming on, man. All right, thanks for having me. No problem.